part of the Kickstarter League. Maddie is the only person in this bracket who wasn't in the Schoolgirls Kickstarter League, actually. Ah. The one and only. So a lot of this is actually, like, teammates fighting teammates and stuff. Like, we saw Zerky versus Dre earlier. And you versus Cryo. Okay, looks like they're just characters. I need to go get a preset with just the most, like, the anime reference colors for my team. This is Digikumo, you know, anime con, so. Seems like the place to do it. Yeah. Oh, so we have doubles. A McDonald's. <laughs> yep. McDonald's, Squiggly, and oh, we have a, a parasol added to the team. Okay. Yeah. So Dre using Squiggly mainly for the center stage assist. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting one because it, like it doesn't have a hitbox, so its limit, its uses there are pretty limited. But compared to Ooh. that whiff on Squiggly. No, it's Squiggly right. blocked. Oh, okay. I just didn't see the little stop sign thing. I, then. Well, actually, I actually thought Squiggly blocked. So that's an interesting, con like using the stagger of uh, Grave Digger to. Uh, uh, you have to go for the dive kick instead, right? Yeah. And not something that I've seen too often. Definitely an interesting route. Ooh, and that is uh, that reset's gonna take it. Yeah. Oh, does get the overhead. Uh -oh. And he, okay, yeah, doesn't have the happy birthday combos yet. His Squiggly is Dre's newest character, so that's not too surprising. Yeah, but... and Squiggly doesn't have charge, so combo potential is weaker. Also true, yeah. And yeah, just calls in Big Band, goes low after the block. So Dre is actually kind of running away with this. Oh. <laughs> that gonna... No, but it no. is... Oh my gosh, that what a throw! Oh that was my entirely god! Tick for a setup. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, so Dre does like the wild option. That's got to be one of the wildest I've ever seen, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, raw yeah. tag against the level three. I got him out. Got him out, but yeah, Maddie's got a combo to kill without, without getting out. Yeah, uh, guard cancel DP to get out, so that's good. This. And Maddie seems to be catching on that DP is a good option to go to against Dre. This dude really likes hitting buttons. Yeah. That. So we'll see and if Dre can kind of adapt does back. Dre. Does Maddie not know about that? You can jump that. Uh, she might have been in the startup of a move, I'd assume, because I mean, she plays Squiggly, so I have to assume she knows that that's not plus zero after Flash. I also don't know how recently she's played Skullgirls, so it might just be <clears throat> forgot, and now that'll never work again. It could also be like, you know, it's also how often do you, like, when you're playing, how often do you face another squiggly that you actually have to get Yeah, not just another jump. squiggly, another squiggly who uses that move in neutral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another squiggly who used that move. I mean, even though everyone knew that, I still got away with the lives. Or even yeah, got very with... few people successfully jumped that. That's for sure. Okay, swap the name. All right, so, so Dre is up 1-0 here. Uh, Maddie swapping back to a duo. I guess just wants the higher damage or feel like the parasol was working starting out. With, starting with Eliza, which is... I don't know. One thing, like... Dre uses Squiggly mainly for center stage, so that's why he puts Squiggly in back row. But is Squiggly not, not a particularly good assist character? Or... No, it's like she loses. One thing is she's pretty bad at like if she has to tag in without. Oh, without... what a parry! Oh, it's just that getting charged is a much easier to do from round start than from incoming. Okay, yeah, that actually that makes a whole lot of sense. Especially wow, okay, really Dre crazy. is looking like Zerky out here. He just stole the parries. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that's a real unfortunate drop there for Maddie. That would have been massive damage. That probably would have been game, since that was double, probably double snap. Yeah. Ooh, yep. Maddie catches the landing there. And Interesting.
Oh. Drake, getting things started here. Missed the air grab reset. Gets thrown, but I mean, no charge or anything to convert off with it. So far, it's not. It's a good tool, but it's very dangerous gun neutral, especially without charge. That... Yeah, that makes sense. And into. I don't actually know the name of that move, but I assume. Oh, no! Pushing daisies. No kill. Pushing daisies, that's right. Man, Dre is just oh, yeah. gonna keep that's doing this. <laughs> pretty much the. Pretty much the only thing. thing you can combo pushing daisies from is the silver cord. Yeah, that makes sense, because they have to be in a, like, stagger state, not a normal hit stun. Yeah. I think that is her only stagger state. Gotcha. There's, like, very few actual stagger states in the game. I mean, unless you want to call in Sarah Bell with a mid-punch assist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> technically an option, but not one you'll see very, very much. Yeah. Okay, it is 1-1 one, one here. So, man, no idea why my game is dropping frames, but that is the issue that's happening. And yeah, Maddie is now locked because she won that last one to two characters. Dre could have swapped. Uh, there is a chance that we'll see him swap characters, actually. Yeah. He hasn't used Baywolf in a while, so he might not be comfortable with it anymore. Yeah, that's entirely possible. I don't know, and so Dre's doing pretty well about mashing out in the some situations the last time he parried. Sekhmet. But yeah, that's that's what I was going to say, is the problem is uh, Sekhmet's got armor. So, doing some... Got away with the neutral silver cord. Yeah, Maddie is just kind of playing patiently, trying to see what Dre's habits are, it looks like. Yeah. Realize that Dre presses buttons way too much and just going for him. Just, I think the segment is a response to how much Dre goes really hyper aggressive. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Also, that one right there, that super did not combo. That was a reset. That was also Maddie calling out the number of buttons that Dre pushes. Because uh, Dre yeah. had come down, like from that situation, he'd come down with, I think it was light punch, it might be light kick. I don't know, whatever the little like tail stabby thing. But uh, he'd come down with that the last kick. couple times. Uh, or no, sorry, just the sorry the like the tail stabby thing that goes straight forward. Oh, that's light kick. Okay, yeah. Then he'd been coming down with light kick, and it had hit Maddie like once or twice. And this time she was just like, "I've got three man. I'ma kill him." Yeah, three man. Me and another character, and good good shit down as you went if it got blocked. Okay, so Maddie is up 2 1 here. She takes this oh, game, then uh, Dre is going that down was to lose. interesting her. calling out the jump there with the air throw. Yeah. It worked out. Oh, wow. Uh, it's not super often that you see a reset so, that'll pick up the assist as well, but one, man, that one did. One thing I've seen, like, I wonder if you could have. No, he didn't have charge center stage, so I don't think he could have gotten a double snap there. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Dre loves going for the jump heavy kick because it puts you in tech state, which is normally bad. But uh, I mean, you're also invincible while you're thing, so like, it, there's worse things. Oh, there's some, oh no DHC. Yeah. Uh, a strange choice, especially with the amount of red health thing. <laughs> yeah, right there. You oh, see, he uses it as a way to get as, in. Well, especially with Squiggly as the backup, since her. I tried cross up with feet extend. Yeah, he successfully yeah, like, crossed up. Uh, it looked FBO? like Maddie had just seen it before. Yeah, like that FBO super combos out of literally everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see what's the reset. Oh, uh, oh reset, reset gets supered. <laughs> so it's an overhead reset. <laughs> it was. Oh my gosh, that caught. Dre has actually had a couple of really big hits here, and he just hasn't been able to fully convert them, which is why he has to keep doing more oh. stuff here. Is that gonna and the chip, chip kill, kill of all the things? Okay. Chip kill with silver cord. Yeah, not even chip I kill with the super with silver cord. 
But I mean, I guess I... Squiggly doesn't really have a reversal without charge, so why not? Yeah. Well, she does. Pushing daisies. Oh yeah, sorry, pushing daisies, <laughs> but like, not a standard one. Yeah, she ha has Dragon Punch, but only with charge, which Dre just doesn't charge. Yeah, his Squiggly is definitely a very odd one. Uh, okay. It's 2 2, Cryo. Like, the reason he does that is, like, that's a consequence of him putting Squiggly second, is he's saying, I can't really set up charge, so I'm going to win this character without charge. Yeah, I think that even more than that, I think he's just like, I play Big Band, center stage assist is cool, and I have to play Squiggly at some point if my big band dies, I guess. Like, I'm assuming that's his thought process based on him not swapping when his big band was at a single touch of health. But I was, I was thinking, like, he doesn't want to take a turn charge. That means he can't put it off the full screen jump heavy punch. Mm -hmm. So, so Maddie is swapping back. back to the trio. And we have uh, Jotaro Band. Looks like Dre might have been trying to parry a couple of those, and ooh, goes low. I uh, tried to armor through it, but got hit by by the Tierra late. Gotcha. Yeah, oh. Stagger is the giant step there, so Maddie did press a button. Ooh, nice throw attack. There's one of the Correct. risks of center stage assist. You do bring them into their combo range too. Oh boy, Maddie's running away with this one so far. Yeah. Didn't whip punish Serpentine. Might have been concerned about uh, whiff cancel into super or something, but yeah, I am very surprised Dre didn't swap band out at any point there. Well, Squiggly isn't really good at whiff canceling. I mean, she can whiff cancel into pushing daisies, I guess. Well, yeah, in a situation like that, you do the like the delay DP cancel basically to hit them hitting a button. Okay, I'm gonna kill quite that. Yeah, what? I guess he was hoping he that it would in... clash. It can't. Oh, did the supers not clash together? That one just doesn't cl does ignore the other projectiles. Oh, okay. 